Hey, what's going on, everybody? So a newly discovered sunspot, one that actually has reverse polarity, it's a rare occurrence on the sun, um, has been causing geomagnetic storms, and one is set to uh, start hitting the Earth much harder today and possibly even tomorrow. And we may even see auroras down far south as Virginia. So... Just going to go over this story pretty quickly. I'm going to show you a video from a, a CME um, that occurred on May 5th. And I'll show you that in a second. So this is what people could see like halfway, like to the middle part of the country. Usually this is way up north and nope. So if you got clear skies, take a look out tonight. It says an outburst from a law-breaking new sunspot. And I'll go into the what they talk about, what's law-breaking, like what's so rare. Uh, a new sunspot could pummel Earth with charged particles and trigger strong geomagnetic storms, potentially causing spectacular light shows and skies over the planet during the coming days. Um, and these reverse polarity sunspots, they actually explode more they cause more explosions and more storms so anyway the geomagnetic storms will be the result of a massive coronal mass ejection a cme hurled directly toward earth by an explosion at a sunspot designated ar3296 that took place at 6 54 p.m on sunday may 7th energetic particles from the outburst will arrive at earth in the early hours of wednesday may 10th the same explosion that launches CME also caused a medium strength M M1 M1.5 class solar flare. It says the violent solar activity from the sunspot is expected to impact Earth over Wednesday, May 10th, and Thursday, May 11th, and could cause auroras normally seen at high latitudes to extend much further south to mid latitudes possibly making them visible in U.S. states such as Oregon, Nebraska, and Virginia. Um, so let me just show you something here. Let me, let's go to this video. I'm going to play this for a second. This is courtesy of NASA Goddard. <laughs> Top left. Now, just know... When you see these, right, because, you know, we're looking at um, something that's millions of times the size of the Earth, right? So that may look a little small to us or whatever, but it's really not. I mean, these um, bursts are probably billions of miles long. That's how big these things are. They are gigantic, and that's an understatement. So, again, it looks small to us, but that's really insanely uh, big, these storms. So, just going back here real quick. Uh, I highlighted something on this story uh, for you. Look at that beautiful shot right there. Um, it could supercharge. This story was from space.com. I love the website. I would advise everybody to go check that site out. Let me find the what I highlight for you. So it says, just so you understand what they are, solar flares are bright bursts of electromagnetic radiation emitted, emitted from sunspots, while CMEs are expulsions of plasma and magnetized particles from the sun that travel more slowly through space. Solar, solar flares that hit Earth can cause communications blackouts, whereas CMEs are associated with the aurora. Though they don't necessarily occur at the same time, the, the brightest solar flares do often coincide with CMEs. As we move forward um, towards solar maximum, or the period of the greatest solar activity, in the next year or two, we can expect more frequent and greater solar storms. As a result, we should see some spectacular auroral displays too. Now, there is something on that first story that I was looking at. I want to show you something. I believe I highlighted. So these are the, the ones that look 
it's weird to see something that is marked as like it looks cold, but it's not. Here we go. What what makes it rare when I was telling you in the beginning about that this is a reverse polarity sunspot? It says such reverse polarity sunspots are fairly uncommon. Studies have found that only around 3% of these cool patches break Hale's law. While they tend to be the same size as normal polarity sunspots and last for the same amount of time, reverse polarity sunspots are twice as likely to be the site of complex magnetic fields. I know, blah, blah, blah. So this makes reverse polarity sunspots more likely to explode and create CME outbursts and solar flares, just like it's doing now. This rule-breaking sunspot is set to travel around the limb of the sun and away from Earth by the weekend and the next bombardment of our planet. So I'll put a link to this also. This is the site, NASA's, um, uh, this spaceweather.com. NASA also has um, their website uh, when it comes to the sun's, uh, the sun observatory. I'm just trying to find that for you. I know I have the link here somewhere. Bear with me for the scrolling, super scrolling. Um, anyway, I'll throw it in the link so I don't have to keep like searching around for it. Now, um, so when, when we talk about the sun, right, the CMEs, CMEs, the coronal mass ejections, those aren't the big worry, right? Like as we just read, those are what we get to see the auroras from. It's the solar flares that are really dangerous, but this is producing both. So, you know those days when you're just having trouble and like all of a sudden, you know, some things just aren't working correctly. The drop calls, the radio station, just things just seem like they're acting a little weird and a little while later, all of a sudden like, okay, I don't know, that was crazy, it was working great. That could be the effect of um, these storms, these solar storms, you know. So um, the CMEs aren't too much of a worry, but I don't want to put no gloom on anything, but they are dangerous, these sunstorms. No joke, you know what I mean? We, we're, we've we been fortunate for a long time. Let's hope that we just continue to be. So anyway, folks been a while since I've been uploading the longer form videos and that's going to continue now. All right. I'm going to stop pumping them out. I want to thank all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys and gals. Um, and stay tuned. All right. We got some cool stuff coming. Really cool stuff. And especially this Saturday, uh, we'll continue to work on the moon base diorama. All right. So I'll talk to you all soon. Keep your eyes in the skies, folks. Take care.